There are a lot of battery apps on the store and many claim to save you so much battery but in the end they just disappoint or drain even more battery. Well today I'm gonna show you the best way to save battery. Just to make clear I have tested many battery apps and even the most popular ones like Battery Doctor, Dew Battery which many claim these apps are the best apps and well they do what they say but saving battery isn't one of them. In fact these apps must always stay in background and because of that they even eat more battery and then the worst is they don't even close the apps automatically. But today I'm gonna show you the easiest steps. My preferred app is Greenify which many don't understand the purpose of this app. Well the app will not close the apps automatically but it will wait for them for you to close them and then it will hibernate them or in other words it will freeze those apps that you selected. Some apps like Facebook, Whatsapp will not work with Greenify if you don't have a root because whenever it tries to hibernate these apps then here we go and Facebook and WhatsApp they will reopen again themselves. But well WhatsApp you will not want to hibernate it because you will not receive any notification from incoming messages. Choose those type of apps that you don't need and you don't use so many times and apps that you don't need to receive notifications from. Some of you will say but hey this app also needs to stay in the background. Yes correct but it uses very very little of battery compared to those battery savers apps. Another trick to save battery is disabling the pre-installed apps that you don't use. Believe it or not, even if you never opened those apps, they will still be in the background running. Maybe not all, but some it will be. Will not eat that much of battery, but it's still another app staying there just open. Take for example Google+, Plus. I never use this app, but it always stays in the background. And even if I close it manually, it will still open after some time or when I restart the phone. The fourth and the last thing you can do is go into settings and choose a balanced mode for power plan. For example in my case I have a Huawei phone and I have smart, performance and lastly ultra saver mode. Well never use ultra saver as it will turn your Wi-Fi off and will keep the basic stuff. Only use it when your battery is really low and you still need to make a call or receive one. Using performance mode gives me the best FPS in games, no stutters and so on but the battery decreases dramatically. The more I use performance mode the more is the difference that the system shows me between smart and performance. So in the end I will say the best battery saver is yourself. Be careful with the apps opened and close them manually. As many apps that they say they will gonna close them for you automatically will likely not do it if you don't have a rooted device. Now with a rooted device there are other options which still in the end might not work as expected. Thank you guys for watching and I see you on the next one.